Imagine my organization has created a web form to discuss what green features to include in a planned new office building. I take a look at what's there and there's um, you know, a bunch of stuff already, a lot of posts in no particular order. There's really no way that I'm going to be able to read all of this. So I just kind of uh, scan through and uh, skim through maybe a couple of posts that look interesting and uh, then just uh, write something down. And good luck to whoever has to summarize all this for management. Sound familiar? Let's try again. Imagine my organization is using deliberation mapping to discuss what green features to include in a planned new office building. I sign into the deliberatorium and I take a look at the discussion so far. I can see immediately that there are two main options that have been discussed. I know something about LEED certification, so I take a look to get some more detail about that. And I find that actually a lot of the ideas that I would um, have contributed are already there, so no need to repeat that. I can just update the ones that I agree with. I certainly agree that it would help enhance the company image. Um, I think that it would attract renters, lower operating costs. That all seems good. Um, one other thing that I don't see here is something I happen to know about air quality lawsuits. So I'm going to add a point about that. One advantage of LEED certification, a pro, is that you can reduce the risk of air quality lawsuits and I'm done for now. Later on that day I receive an email from the deliberatorium with some personalized suggestions for the new building plan discussion. The uh, system knows uh, what posts I've been looking at, which ones I've upgraded, so it has a sense of what my interests are and it points out that uh, someone has added uh, a new option which um, is an alternative to the one that I've been supporting. That seems interesting, so I'll go take a look. What's different about these two scenarios? For one, with a deliberation map, it's easy to see what's already been said and therefore to avoid needless repetition. Second, ratings provide a meaningful read on what the community thinks about different options. If I would have rating in a web form, for example, the ratings would be less meaningful because each post may include many different uh, points, some of which I agree with and some of which I don't. In a deliberation map, you'd be rating each individual point separately. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the result of a community using a deliberation map is compact and organized and immediately usable.